Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. One of the things I'm really excited about with Windows Phone 7 is the new OneNote integration. Some of you may not even know what OneNote is good for, so I got it here on my tablet PC. This is OneNote 2010, and we're going to take a quick look at some of the basics. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on my tablet. And right now I'm looking at my SkyDrive, and I've got a couple notebooks here already. So let me go to this one, and it's going to open the OneNote web app. This is the free version of OneNote that anybody can access from SkyDrive. You know, it's you just need a Windows Live ID or Hotmail account to access this, and this brings up the OneNote web app. And you can see there's a lot of things we can do here. You got uh, different sections on the left, so you can see your primary sections. There's a, there's a lot you can do in uh, OneNote web app. Here's it. You can select. That's a picture. You can move it around. You can type in here. You can just type more text in there. Uh, there's a couple different tabs. You got formatting for your text, basic things, headings. You can insert pictures or clip art or hyperlinks and new tables. You got a new page and new section, so that's great for organizing. And view only has a couple options. There's a show authors. This is for if you're sharing it and a reading view. But here's if you really want to get into OneNote, here's the open in OneNote button. So we're gonna say okay. Now this is going to download that OneNote notebook off my SkyDrive and open it right here in OneNote 2010. And what that also does is it sets up automatic syncing between OneNote 2010 and the, Sky, the notebook on SkyDrive. So if I open that notebook on multiple computers from the SkyDrive, all those computers will be set up automatically to sync with that notebook on SkyDrive and there's no saving or anything so if I change anything here let me get a pen that's that's gonna sync right away with uh, SkyDrive and that's all gonna be updated so here's our tabs, those are our sections. You can create a new section with that. And here's our pages. So whenever you have something new that you want to talk about, I, I like to create a new, new page. And you can create plenty of scrolling space here as well. So let's go back over here. And there's lots of stuff you can do here. I got multi-touch. I can Zoom in a little bit. Oops. So each tab at the top is kind of like a, a tab in your folder. And uh, you know, you can organize it different ways. We can have a, a different tab for each project that you're working on, maybe at work, or each class you have at school. And you can put uh, different notes in each thing. And what's great is that you can put practically anything in here. So let me just create a new page at the end. Okay. So that's going to be a new page. I can draw stuff. I can write text. So and I can change that to regular text very easily. And I can, this is a, a feature that I really like, screen clipping. So if I'm doing some research, and I want to save something off a web page, there you go. And it gives us the hyperlink and the date that I got it. Really great for keeping track of the things uh, that you're researching. So that's one awesome feature. Another one we we got you can put practically anything in these notebooks. 
you can link them to Outlook. You got math equations up here. So let's try a video. Hello, hello. This is a video recording. And what happens if I type stuff while I'm recording a video? Okay, nothing happens there. Let's finish that. But look at what that is. get that icon there. Oh, see the play button? That note is associated with the point in the video that I was recording and writing the note at the same time. So if you're listening to a lecture, you can also, it, it works the same with a voice recording. So if you're listening to a lecture, and you start taking notes about a certain part of that lecture, this little play button will show up right next to the note so that it will jump to the exact point in the video or audio recording where you were taking that note. That's a, a really cool feature. I love that. Sharing. See Hide Authors. You can uh, share this notebook even over SkyDrive with multiple people. So, more than one person can be working on it at the same time. And you can show who's done what. Uh, it's just me here, so <laughs> you're not going to see any of those. So, you can use this for all sorts of things. Planning weddings, planning uh, vacation trips, uh, you know, researching projects, organizing projects, organizing tasks, organizing your schoolwork. It's really, really powerful. Here's another feature that's awesome. You can enter space. Just moves it over. And uh, you can even include Word documents here. Word doc any kind of document you can actually insert and include in, in the notebook. So anyway, that's a quick look at some of the basics of OneNote. We don't know exactly how this will work with uh, Windows Phone 7. We know something's going to be there. <laughs> but uh, if you take a look at what OneNote 2010 is actually capable of, it's uh, pretty exciting to have this synchronized on your phone. Anyway, that's it for now.